Hello YouTube, me Tim Pearl Swin here, uh, with my March 2012 ban or uh, March 2012 Teledad deck. So let's begin. One Darkrun Dragon, obviously because teleport Darkrun. Chaos Sorcerer and BLS because of the massive amounts of lights we're running. One Caius. Gores, Trag. One Stratos to search out your destiny heroes. Two Diamond Dudes. Standard D draw lower target. His effect is pretty good sometimes. Dasher. Two Mallies. Doom Lord. Uh, good against Lagia. Dark Refer to set up for those malicious plays. Sand Yen to search out your 1500 or less monsters. Two Alchemists. Great for setting up for the for certain plays with BLS and Chaos Sorcerer, as well as with the Lord of Darkness. Cyber Dragon. Uh, just another light target. Beater. Three Crevons. Just the e Telly target. Dark. Uh, it's a its effect is pretty useful sometimes. Flag Sweater. For uh, Destiny Hero Malicious, because top decking him's a bitch. Two Veilers. Because it's a light target and it's kind of needed this format with wind ups running around. Two e tellies because you know, teleport out your Crevons and you synchro with Mali. Pot of Avarice because it is a synchro deck, so it gets you know, after you synchro, you can just put your cards back. And two D draws for dumping Mali and more draw power. Allure just because dark deck, need Allure. One Dark Hole, Staple, Monster Reborn, another Staple, Rota, search out your level 4 Warriors, uh, Heavy Storm, MST, Foolish Burial, just to dump off your Plagues and Mallies, Mind Control, just take your opponent's monsters and synchro with them, and the Traps, you have standard 1 Torrential Tribute, uh, I was thinking about playing 2, but I decided not to. One Mirror Force. One Solemn Judgment. That's it for the main deck. Now on to the extra deck. We got two copies of Stardust because this deck turns out eight stars really fast. Well, this is a proxy for that n new synchro coming out called Void Ogre Dragon. Uh, 3000 attack and defense. One Dark Tuner, one Non Tuner. If you have no cards in your hand once per turn, you can negate. Spell or Trap. Which would be good, which is good inside this deck is Dark Greffer sometimes drops your hand, which is bad, but you can take advantage of that with uh, Void Ogre. Dark End, just because Dark and it can get over certain big monsters. Colossal Fighter, Standard, 8 Star. Thought Ruler, because he hurts Insectors badly. Brianak, to pitch your Mallies and whatnot. Gaia Knight, Big Beater, Android. Um, Five star light, Leviathan dragon. I was playing Levier, but since I never make rank three exceeds, uh, I figured why? Because this is just in case. Why have something that expensive in your extra deck if you're never going to use it? Blade armor ninja, just a little tech because I am running mostly warriors, so I can just throw him down, detach, and attack twice. It's just kind of there because you know just test him out a little bit. He's pretty good tech. Utopia light, cast Utopia because you mind control your opponent's Utopia. Overlay for Chaos Utopia. One Chimera Tech because um, you are playing Cyber Dragon. And Token for Gores. And then on to the side deck, we got two Shrinks because beatdown decks are a huge problem for this deck. Two MSTs because you're only running one in the main and some decks are really back row heavy. One Smashing Gun for those random matchups where you just need to get over certain people's monsters. As well as in certain mirror matches. One Royal Prison because, uh, it's not like that useful, but you never know. There might be like little random monarch decks running around. Chivalry, which stops Gores and Trag. Sangan. Goes and match, just because this stops a lot of other people's decks. Bottomless Trap Hole. Two Mirror Votes, because um, Rescue Rabbits, Glads, Tour Guide, all those things just gets over those. This also would um, 
yeah, it works good against Mirror Match in a sense because you can stop their Mallies, which is a huge part of the deck. Alright, well, that's all for my Talented deck for the March 2012 format. Hope you enjoyed.